Ukraine said its forces had recaptured villages from Russian troops, pressing a major counteroffensive in the northeast of the country that could signal a shift in the war's momentum and jeopardize Russia's main advance. Tetyana Apachenko, press officer for the 92nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, the main Ukrainian force near Kharkov, confirmed that Ukrainian troops had recaptured the settlements of Cherkasky Tishki, Ruski Tishki, Bershchova, and Slobozhensk in a pocket north of Kharkov in recent days. Yuri Sachs, an advisor to Defense Minister Alexei Yereznikov, said the successes were pushing Russian artillery out of range of parts of Kharkov, Ukraine's second largest city, which has been under bombardment since the war's earliest days. The military operations of the Ukrainian armed forces around Kharkov, especially north and northeast of Kharkov, are sort of a success story, Sachs told Reuters. The Ukrainian army was able to push these war criminals to a line beyond the reach of their artillery. The counterattack could signal a new phase in the war, with Ukraine now going on the offensive after weeks in which Russia mounted a massive assault that Ukrainian troops mostly held off. By pushing back Russian forces who had occupied the outskirts of Kharkov since the early days of the war, the Ukrainians are moving into striking distance of the rear supply lines sustaining the main Russian attack force further south. They're trying to cut in and behind the Russians to cut off the supply lines because that's really one of the Russian main weaknesses," said Neil Melvin of the Rusi think tank in London. Ukrainians are getting close to the Russian border. So all the gains that the Russians made in the early days in the northeast of Ukraine are increasingly slipping away. The setbacks near Kharkov deal a blow to Moscow's war plans at precisely the moment when Western capitals believed President Vladimir Putin had been hoping to present a major victory for a holiday marking the end of World War II. On Monday, Putin presided over a huge Red Square military parade for the Victory Day holiday. Western countries had worried that, in the absence of major battlefield success to announce, he might instead order a nationwide mobilization. But in the event, he did neither, exhorting Russians to keep fighting, but giving no indications about his further strategy. Since Russia was forced to abandon its assault on the capital Kyiv at the end of March, its main attack force has been trying to encircle Ukrainian troops in the eastern region known as the Donbas. The Ukrainian forces have been holding out against intensive assaults from three directions. By pushing in north of Kharkov Ukraine, could now try to turn the tables and force Moscow to switch to trying to defend its own long supply lines, which stretch from the Russian border to the city of Izium south of Kharkov. In the south, Russian forces were again pummeling the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol on Tuesday, trying to capture the last bastion of Ukrainian resistance in the ruined city, where Ukraine says tens of thousands of people have died under two months of Russian siege and bombardment. Scores of civilians have been evacuated from the steelworks in recent days, but an aide to Mariupol's mayor, Petro Andryushchenko, said at least 100 still remained inside. Ukraine's Azov regiment, holding out in Azovstal, said on the Telegram messaging app that in the past 24 hours, 34 Russian aircraft had flown over the plant including eight sorties by strategic bombers. It said the plant had come under fire from the Russian Navy and from tanks, artillery fire and rockets. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.